Newcastle United, Lewis on the left-hand side going to Richie. Is he going to do a long ball over the top? Yeah, kind of. Straight to Joel Lilton. Nice little uh, finish there. Like a pass finish. Lewis again. Shelby. One of the main playmakers, Hayden. Richie. Where's he? He's got no pace, Richie, but uh, he still manages to get past his man and get a goal. All right, Lewis. Over the top again to Richie once more on that left-hand side. And it was a deflection straight to Almiron. Right then, set piece, Richie. And straight to the goalkeeper. But it's a highlight, which means something's going to happen. And it's going to be one of those goals, isn't it? I can see it. Oh, dear. Straight to a Noma. Rebanded. Own goal. Right then, the ball starts with Jansen. Straight to Baptiste. Over the top to Force. What a pass. Nice pass. Here we go then. Godos won it back straight to force. Oh no, the tackle didn't happen and it went straight to Tony. And what a goal from Tony. Oh, Ivan. All right, Canos. All in the box now. Force. Oh, tackled. Canos again. What's he going to do? Swing it in. Norgard. Yeah, of course it is. All the room in the world. What's up everyone, welcome to the Tucker Jobs YouTube channel where we show tactics testing for Football Manager 21. Now this tactic you can see here is Naps Echo 442 tactic. We are taking it back to the classic shape of 442. And uh, the teams involved, it's a bit of a bit of an English bias test this one. All right, all English. Just a couple of different leagues. All right, Tottenham, Newcastle, Top Dog, Wonder Dog. Uh, well, Tottenham is... is uh, if or if or or with Tottenham, really, because I've had some bad tests with them. I've had tests where I haven't even been them, and they finished like 16th and 15th. All right, so can you really count Tottenham as a top dog? <laughs> really? Uh, and then we've got Brentford, Reading, Charlton, and Lincoln as well. So let's get on with the tactic. If you want to download it, the link will be in the description. If you can't download and need the instructions, I'll go through all of them right now. So advanced forward left. Advance forward right, winger left, winger right, deep line playmaker, box to box midfielder, wing back left, wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, and the sweeper keeper set pieces, corners defending right and left, and attacking left and right using the old beer wolf system with your taker aiming for the near post, free kick instructions defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And then attacking small chances shot right and left with the taker aiming for, sorry, mixed. And then wide, attacking left and right. And then deep, attacking right and left. And now defending deep, left, right. Defending wide, right and left. And then defending small chances shot left and right. And finally, the throwing instructions, guys, defending right and left. And attacking left and right. What? No long throw-ins? Shocked. I am shocked. It's a nap tactic. What is happening? But we all know that with the updates, the uh, long throw-ins change slightly. So that might uh, be his way of getting around it now. Because at the end of the day, he's changed, he's adapted, and hopefully it works. Um, so let's get back to the tactic then. So this is an attacking mentality tactic. Uh, in possession is fairly wide attack and width with passing space on the approach play. Uh, passing space might be something you may want to tweak around with taking it off uh, when you go with the lower leagues or the underdogs. Because uh, at the end of the day, it's you're running onto the ball. If you haven't got the players that can run onto the ball, that can actually set that pass up. And it might be a hindrance rather than an advantage. Uh, overlapping left and right and play out defence. Slightly shorter passing directness with a higher tempo. Low crosses in the final third. Work ball into box and run at the defence as well. And that is also an option that may be worth taking off if you are underdogs or in a very low league. Uh, in transition, you're looking at counter press and counter with your goalkeeper's instructions to distribute to the fullbacks and throw it long. Out of possession, use offside track with a much higher line of engagement, a higher defensive line with force opposition outside. Use a tighter marking. Uh, extremely urgent pressing intensity would prevent short goalkeeper distribution. 
and the get stuck in instruction is on uh, so yeah that's the tactic there's the teams obviously you know if you want a little idea of who plays and what positions just go pick without restriction and best 11 and it will give you a decent idea then obviously you just use your own personal preferences so let's get on with the video i'll see you at the end of the season after the simulation uh, so we can have a look at all of the results and numbers one season later Welcome back, end of the season. Now, something very odd happened, all right? Tottenham finishing fifth isn't actually that bad. I've seen a lot worse. For some reason, Tottenham are a very hard team to test. Um, it might be different for you guys. It might just be my very bad luck, uh, but they tend not to do that well. Well, you know that I had Tottenham as part of the, uh, part of the setup with all the teams that are being tested with this tactic, and I got sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you can see here in the top, took a jobs. No club because I got sacked right at the end of the season for failing to qualify for the Champions League. Shocking. Shocking. All right. I've seen Tottenham finish in worse positions. And yeah, so even though Tottenham did finish in a half decent position, Newcastle, that is where the surprise is. All right. So third place for Newcastle we're not even going to focus on Tottenham now because yes they finished fifth yes they got European qualification but I got sacked so you're not even having the satisfaction of me going through the team um but Newcastle come third uh Champions League football for Newcastle absolutely fantastic and Callum Wilson the striker 36 league goals coming first with uh, Almiron coming second with 26 average rating belongs to Callum Wilson once again coming first 7.61 assists you've got St Maximin and Wilson first and joint second 17 and 12 player of the matches Callum Wilson once again in third place right there so Callum Wilson's had an absolute happy season happy happy successful season for callum wilson so uh, well done there let's go to uh, newcastle's competitions and so english fa cup got all the way to the quarter final went out to manchester united and the carabao cup third round sheffield united so that's unfortunate but with a team like newcastle you're probably aiming to garner a little bit of reputation to gain it to build it and to uh, obviously take the club back to the glory days you would say um so coming third is your priority or the league is your priority there with newcastle and they absolutely did that with coming third uh squad then so how did the squad do with the tactic not as many as i thought but it's pretty similar pretty consistent with a lot of underdogs um they finished fantastic but still an underdog team ish uh, so their average ratings normally stay about there. You know I mean, you, you don't get a lot of players for some reason, and I don't know why. Uh, getting really good average ratings. So yeah, your best player was Callum Wilson. All right, 7.52, 37 goals, 13 assists. Biggest goal scorers after Callum Wilson was Almiron, Saint Maximin, uh, 16 and 29. And biggest creators of the team, you got Saint Maximin, Wilson, Frazier, Hayden, Richie, Almiron, Hendrick. All right, 8, 9, 11, 11, 12, 13, and 17 there. Team report, all right, on a whole, is not too bad. All right, so goals per game, attacking capabilities is absolutely fantastic. 3.11. Conceded per game, you're dropping down a little bit, but that's understandable with the team that you are. Uh, shots per game is pretty high. What is a shame is your pass completion ratio is only 80%. That's very low in terms of all the tactics I've tested, you normally get to about, I don't know, 83 to 85, 87 on good ones every now and again. I do hit one way, getting about 91, 92. So it is low in terms of other tactics that I've tested. Um, but the full numbers, guys, is 131 goals, which is pretty decent for the underdogs. And then 79 consist, uh, conceded, which is, it's high. You are a third place team at the end of the day. So that is pretty high for a third place team. It's probably still pretty high in terms of Newcastle as well. So yeah, that could be changed obviously with a few of the instructions I said with the underdogs where you've got the passing space, run at the defense. Those kind of things can stop you from losing the ball and in turn stop them from countering and maybe scoring. So uh, that could work there. And obviously you've got your mentality here where it's uh, attacking in games obviously against some big teams you might drop that down to positive you might drop it down to balanced even defensive to see a game at and all those can change and uh, help with the tactic in the long run and over the course of a season obviously we're conceding and uh, getting your goals um so yeah well done to newcastle and 
do want Tottenham, basically. Sacking me, coming fifth. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so let's drop down the league to the championship with Brentford and Reading, another uh, pair of teams who are top dogs and underdogs, and see how they done. And they came first and second. So Brentford are predicted third, so a top team. Reading are predicted 16th, so they are uh, an underdog team, basically, the, the below uh, halfway point. And absolutely fantastic that both of them uh, actually managed to get over 100 points as well, which is insane. Uh, Brentford doing very well, Reading exceptionally well. And then Force getting 42 goals, 42 league goals. And then uh, Puskas for 38 for Reading coming second. So that's fantastic that you got both teams there uh, getting the top three player stats and goals. Uh, average rating for Skodos and Puskas. Again, 7.3938 and 3.2. Uh, assists, you got Swift, Tony, and Canos. All right. Again, both Reading and Brentford players, 19, 16, and 16. Uh, player of the matches, Reading and Brentford are in there again. And uh, no clean sheets, and we don't count yellow cards. So apps, this work to treat in the championship they did absolutely fantastic uh, let's have a look at brentford's competitions and so fa cup third round got knocked out by tottenham and carabao cup got knocked out by charlton charlton you should have won uh, i understand obviously losing to a uh, tottenham their squad then how did the squad do with the tactic pretty similar uh, to newcastle probably a couple more players getting a green average rating but your best player will force all right 45 goals that's amazing uh, seven assists. Biggest goal scorers after force was Tony uh, with 24. And then obviously the players after them, 13 and 11. And then biggest creators in the team, Canos, Tony, Godos, Norgard, all right, 12, 16, 17 and 19. Team report for the uh, top dogs of the league. Mm, looking all right, looking all right. All right, 82%, a couple of percentage above uh, Newcastle. But these are classed as the toppish team in the championship. Uh, then 2.87 goals per game, obviously pretty good on the conceded, less than a goal, which is always nice to see. The full numbers for Brentford is 142 goals and 57 conceded, which is, I'll probably say that's acceptable um, for for. Yeah, for Brentford, 57, not too bad. We'll have a look at all of the stats compared to the other teams at the end of the video. And then if we go to Reading, let's have a look. Reading are the underdogs and come in second. Getting promoted to the Premier League is fantastic. Their competitions, the FA Cup third round got knocked out by West Brom. The Carabao Cup first round knocked out by Norwich. So, yeah, understandable. Norwich are a great team in the Premier League, uh, in the uh, Championship, sorry. And then uh, West Brom are a Premier League team. So, two pretty half decent teams to go up against and it's a shame um squad let's have a look then best player was puskas uh, 38 goals and six assists and then biggest goal scorers after puskas was jow and is that mighty matey yeah it's red and i don't really know red and players uh, 23 and 14 biggest creators swift jow uh, and olis all right the only ones getting double digits there with 10 11 and 19 team report then for the underdogs again Pretty fantastic when it comes to goals and shots. 83% uh, pass completion, a little bit higher than Brentford. And then expected goals is nice and high. Obviously, the conceded per game is, is pretty decent. You're on the outer end of the averages, so well done there. If we go to the full stats, then 117 goals, not bad for the underdogs. And then 59 conceded, uh, which is good as well. Now, if we drop down to another league, Shelton and Lincoln, once again, a top team and an underdog team in League One. How did they do? First and second, again, guys, all right. You've got the couple of players in the top threes. Charlton and Lincoln, absolutely fantastic. So that tactic did very, very well for everyone. Man, I'm going to say everyone. I think Tottenham did half decent. Fifth isn't bad. If anyone's ever tested tactics and they've done or used Tottenham a lot, you would know it's just weirdly they don't do well, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But let's go through the League One uh, stats then with the teams detailed. Uh, attacking threat then. Lincoln and Charlton first and second. Goals per game, Lincoln and Charlton once again. Uh, if we go to goals from corners, Lincoln coming first with 13. Charlton sixth there. Goals from free kicks. Uh, direct first and second, and indirect is a little bit different. And if we go down to where we're going, conceded. There we go. Charlton coming first with only conceding 46, then Lincoln coming ninth there, conceding 59. Now, if we go up another division to the championship, and if we have a look at the teams detailed there, so attacking threat. 
Brentford and Reading first and second. 132, 116. And look at the difference then after that. Third, fourth and fifth. 85, 17, 69. Such a big difference. Goals per game. It will be the same. Expected goals for as well is high. And then uh, goals from corners. Brentford coming first with 17 goals from corners. Nice. Uh, Reading coming joint fifth. Goals from free kicks. They are... They're just lingering around the middle sections and then goals from indirect free kicks. So Redden actually did very well coming second there and Brentford coming fourth. And then a clear cut chances created for them first and second. It would do shots for first and second, shots on target first and second. Absolutely fantastic. And when it comes to conceding, Brentford comes second with 43 goals conceded with Redden coming seventh. And now if we go to the Premier League. Uh, let's have a quick go to the stats teams detailed then so at least this time we can see uh, Tottenham's uh, numbers as well so goals Newcastle came first Newcastle scored the most goals in the league 118 guys Tottenham were there look came third I can't believe I got sacked by them still uh, and then Newcastle Tottenham again if we drop down to goals from corners Newcastle coming second with 11 uh, and then where are where's Tottenham third didn't see Tottenham there. <laughs> Goals from free kicks. Newcastle joint second. Nice. To Tottenham are right down here on joint 11th with none. <laughs> no, no goals from direct free kicks. Crazy. Indirect free kicks. Newcastle coming first with eight. And then if we go down to the uh, conceded. Yeah, Tottenham did pretty well. All right, joint fifth. Uh, and Newcastle are pretty much where they're expected. Um, 16th right there. So... That was the Echo Tactic, guys, from NAP, the 442. And obviously, you can download it in the description. And you can also visit us on the Discord. And I'm sure the tactic will be on there if you are a member already. So it's a bit easier to access. But please go and have a look at uh, NAP's SI forums as well for a lot more tactics on there. And uh, yeah, hopefully this tactic is absolutely fantastic for you. If you are if you are Spurs and you try this tactic, let me know how it goes for you and see if you get sacked for coming fifth, which is crazy. And uh, have a great game, guys. I'm Tucker Jobs. Please subscribe, like, and comment on the video. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.